Hey everyone, and welcome back to Beyond the Basics of Brain Retraining. So this is part three of our three-part series that Bianca and I have been recording here for brain retrainers who are just kind of looking to go beyond what you've been taught, you know, what you've learned. And that really brings us to today's topic. But before we dive into that, just a little bit of a recap. So last week, we talked about beliefs that keep us stuck and how they can kind of be brought up in the brain retraining process, which is normal and part of this subconscious, bringing the subconscious to the forefront of our brains as we brain retrain. And so today we're taking that one step further, kind of talking about what happens when we live in misalignment with our values, with our purpose, whatever that may be. Now, I want to mention this is like a very common feeling. So I remember personally, you know, I'm, I'm trained in medicine. Uh, that's what I was doing before I had my perfect storm. And then I started to feel better with brain retraining. Well, then I started to feel scared. What did life look like for me after brain retraining? You know, I was starting to feel better, but that fear was there, right? Limbies, our limbic systems, fear response was still there thinking like, okay, the world outside of brain or training may be dangerous. Or what does my life look like after brain retraining? That was a big one. Cause I was like, I don't know if I can go back to treating people in medicine the way that I used to. Um, and that was a scary thought. All of my training, you know, all of the years and money I had spent training in, in the PA field what happens to that? So it's interesting. This does happen to a lot of people in their brain or training process. It did happen to me. That's what we are talking about today. Um, and I know it's something we talk about collectively and elevate. So Bianca, do you want to kick us off with like what it means to kind of feel that misalignment and what really happens? Maybe give us an example of that. Yeah, so I can totally relate to what you're saying about like work um, and that outside of brain retraining, like, oh, is it safe for me to go back to work? That is definitely mm -hmm. um, something that triggers Limby, even still a little bit on and off if I go too intense with my work, which I love and I get really excited about it and really <laughs> into it, but <laughs> need to rest, need mm -hmm. to calm down. <laughs> um so, yeah, something that I see with brain retrainers sometimes is that they go through what you've spoken about and life is different after you've brain retrained. You've learned yeah. how amazing our brains are and the human body is and our ability to heal. And you've also probably reassessed what's most important in your life, right? Because mm -hmm. you really realize, like, without your health, nothing else really matters too much like it's great to have your family and friends around but again it comes back to those basics it's like what is most important to me and in elevate we actually go into your core values and all that kind of thing to really boost those into your day-to-day -day life and your retraining yeah to help you come into alignment with that as well because sometimes you might value um i don't know I feel like a lot of brain retrainers have fun because you do lots of fun exercises, but not necessarily. Maybe I'm just <laughs> that way. <laughs> like, have you make it just fun you. or I don't want to do it. <laughs> but if you're one of your highest, highest values, let's say is freedom, which is one of mine as well. And you've felt a little bit restricted or trapped or bound by what's been going on for you and your healing journey, then you might feel this, I don't know, emptiness, void, this longing, this um, frustration maybe because you don't feel that you have that freedom that you crave because mm. it's one of the most important things to you. And there's so many ways to go about bringing that into your life and that's part of what we get into in Elevate. One can be really just redefining 
freedom for the meantime, depending on your circumstances. But another can be like, where can I bring freedom in? What feels like freedom to me? Where can I, where can I really bring that into my retraining, into my day? Because like nothing is in a box on its own. Everything is connected. Our relationships, our, our work, if you're working, your health, you know, everything's connected. So, yeah, I think it's really important to just look at what is most important to me and what feels good. And I know Lindsay and I are both like such feely people. It's like, <laughs> sure, we're working with retraining the brain. But like what resonates, what lights you up, what excites you, what motivates you, what makes you want to do something, what gives you goosebumps, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're the kind of things we're wanting to start to dig back into once we're out of that um, survival mode and we're like, okay, cool, I'm feeling better. Uh, you know, I might not have a foggy brain anymore or whatever. I can think clearly and I have the time and energy and availability to be able to start to pursue something. Yeah. But what do I want? And again, that can be very scary. <laughs> it's like, yeah. okay, clean slate. And, and like, to your point, you may not be there quite yet where you're totally feeling super good. Like I know a lot of people when we launched, when we relaunched Elevate asked, like, do I have to be totally healed? No, Elevate, we created because we saw in our own brain retraining journeys, we got to a point, which was typically a couple months in where we were like, we see the value of the structured exercises, but like, how do I apply this to me, right? How do I personalize it um, with the things that I want to train with, right? How do I incrementally train and like, you know, reaching mini goals? Like that's something we talk about in Vital and Elevate. And, you know, how do I um, visualize better, right? And then another big part is how do I connect with that purpose? And so thinking back to when I was brain retraining, um, at the same time, like this is something I did when I was brain retraining was I started to, uh, I, I took a year long course in neuro-linguistic programming. And so that was part of my retraining journey. Mm -hmm. And when I did that, I learned about core values because, you know, you can think, you know, what a core value is and you likely know a version. Yeah. But, you know, in Elevate, we go through a particular way to discover and uncover what your core values are and like freedom is also one of mine authenticity is a huge one and so core values in general you think about it and you think like yeah the things that directly inhibit that value are like horrifying to you <laughs> like oh, you know the things that don't feel authentic or don't feel free and a lot of what you may have been feeling for the last couple of years, you know, have directly inhibited your core values. So now that you're starting to feel a little bit better, it doesn't have to be you're on this like full 100% like uh, linear road to recovery, but you're starting to see the value of brain retraining, really understanding your core values. Yes, is important, but then applying them and integrating them into your life. Are you someone who connects with joy and within that community, right? And collaboration with somebody else, or are you that freedom, you know, adventure, uh, you know, authenticity, that kind of thing. And so you may not know exactly what your purpose is. And I definitely did not in this process. Um, but then when I learned about core values, I was like, oh, I gravitate towards, you know, two of mine, freedom and authenticity. So now I can find and look for and seek things in life that provide me with an outlet to reach those core values. So that's, that was like tremendously helpful in my retraining journey. And I definitely don't recommend every single person to take an NLP course. Like that's why Bianca and I do what we do. Um, so we kind of break it down for you kind of do this condensed version 
in Elevate. And I just love this ability to connect slowly and gently with your purpose through this process of integration of core values. Mm -hmm. And I think the mini goals also bring that level of purpose. It doesn't have to be like, what is your life's mission? That's not what we're necessarily talking about here. If you tap into that, great. We're super happy (laughs) to do that through Elevate. But that can be very big and very daunting. And it's like, how can I feel like I'm living on purpose each day rather than the purpose just solely being, okay, I'm brain retraining. Okay, I'm you know, healing, I need to get enough sleep, I need to eat the right foods, like all these things that might be part of your journey. Mm -hmm. How can you go, okay, well, I think I'm sweet with all of that right now. Where can I bring a little more purpose to my day? And that might be, I don't know, it might be volunteering, it might be a change in career. Uh, And it might be something that you don't really know, you just know the first step feels good. So I was laughing before when Lindsay said about the core values because I can relate because when I started studying coaching, I often say to people, I started my coaching diploma and I didn't really know what a coach was until that first module where they kind of explained like a coach is this and it's not this and it's not this and it's not this. And I was like, all right. Then I was really, really clear. I had an idea and I had friends who were coaches. Um, And I, I mean, I could have done the coaching certification and going that's not for me um but sometimes it's just taking that first step and again it's not necessarily a course or a coaching course that's just what we're sitting here speaking of from our own experiences but just kind of like what yeah what lights me up what excites me what could bring meaning and purpose to my days and my life right now yeah Uh, and then go from there that alignment right yeah. that that's a, that alignment and so what happens in brain retraining so you've recognized you've been living with limbic system impairment for you know in my case it was years sometimes it's months everyone's different and you you have that awareness you start decreasing limbi's hyper arousal hyper reactive state what that does is it allows to put less emphasis on limbi being the primary response and your prefrontal cortex to be that primary response. So you start to make decisions that work for you. So when you're in this place and you're balancing your limbic brain and your prefrontal cortex, and then limbi starts to decrease like little by little by little, and now you have more availability. So this likely wasn't something you started out with when Limby was primarily your response, but now you're, uh, you have this available real estate in your brain using your prefrontal cortex to pay attention to what is aligned with you, apply those core values to your life. And then, you know, living on purpose. I love that. And, and seeking that purpose daily, coming back to why you brain retrain and then, feeling good about that, feeling good about what you do every day. Um, You know, this is something that we really get into the nitty gritty of in Elevate Brain Retraining 2.0. And so if you're ready, if you're like, I've been using that prefrontal cortex slowly, but surely, you know, let's, let's deep dive into it. Something incredible that we have with Elevate now is a subscription model. So you'll be able to access the information as you go pay for what you need. So go ahead and check it out. We are you know, linking that here below, check out the information, check and see if this is for you. But Bianca and I have done this ourselves. We've done this with others for years. And we're so excited to share this information with you. That's so applicable to your brain retraining journey. So thank you so much for being here with us today for checking out part three of this series going beyond the basics of brain retraining. These videos will live on this public forum. So continue to check them out. Think about Elevate and we will see you back here another day. Thanks everyone.